smoked on the ground up the middle reined in and the off balance throw gets him nice play for the out stepping up is Jose Ramirez ready with the first pitch here it comes temperature here at game time 61 degrees. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Hey, I think this is going to be the key to his success out on the mound. That good movement on that two seam fastball is going to keep that ball in the yard and keep this offense on its toes. On well, they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Lifted the other way down the left field line, and that will end up a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Hit hard to the right side. And that's the second out. Next, here is Eddie Rosario. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Just getting started at the Rogers Center. Hit back up the middle. Simeon's there. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Here's George Springer. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading up for Toronto, the center fielder. Joel. Now pitch on the way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. And he is going to have extra bases here to start the home first. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. That is second. And third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero. At the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Springer leads off second with nobody out. Foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike two. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. The 0 2 home. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to 1 and 2. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit in the air down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Safe at third as he moves up on what's likely to be ruled a wild pitch. And it's fouled away. Four foul balls in this AB. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. And he fouls this one off. And a base hit is the run will score from third, and the Blue Jays have grabbed a one to nothing lead. That is good. That's your stop. 
So Marcus. now to the plate, Marcus Semien. Semien. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. A runner at first with no outs here. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. And he got him. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. First Batting swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. As he can't catch up on a fastball to letters and it's strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Guerrero rounds the corner and is headed home. He will score as they extend their lead to two. The tag, and they got him as he couldn't get back to second. That is good. The left fielder. Teoscar Hernandez off. digging in now. Hernandez. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Rosario gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Second inning set to go, and here's Fran Reyes Leading stepping up. in. Wheels and deals, here's the first Romeo. pitch. As he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there, it's strike one. Popped up. Guerrero is calling for it. One out. Next to dig in, Bobby Bradley. The first baseman, number 44. Infield Bobby shifted well to the right. Bradley. Here's the first pitch. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Two and one to the Indians first baseman. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Here now the 2 2. Pulled toward right center field. Springer giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Striding in for the Indians, Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. And it's one and one. Fouled away. Popped him up. Simeon shading to his right and the inning is over. Trust me when I tell you no At the plate now is Dylan Carlson. He sets to lead off the whole Toronto. half of the second. The right For me, this is an important yeah, add-on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it, but keeping the pressure on, building that lead. That's how you bury someone. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. On the run is Zimmer. He's there and records the first down. No one on with one down. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. Guriel. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Hey. 
Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at one. Hey, a curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him two down. So two out, nobody on. And the big right-handed batter, Randall Grichik, saunters into the batter's box next. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him, nothing in one. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line in left, hooking just a little. Adios, pelota. Into the, the box catcher. now, Reese McGuire. Seven. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. They'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. And now time granted here as he'll step out to rethink things down 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Ramirez has got it and the side is retired. Ready now is Andres Jimenez. He'll stand in to Leading open the things up here in the third. The shortstop. Andres. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Hit in the air to center field. Springer has a read on it, and that's the first out of the inning. And stepping in, Bradley Zimmer. The center fielder, number four. Now here's the first Bradley. offering. Zimmer. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking the zone. He wants a quick inning, so he won't be nibbling. Grounded back up the middle, and quickly there are two away. Now to the plate. Here is Roberto Perez. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Hit hard to short. Taken in by Simeon. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Back to the top of the order now. And that brings in Leading George Springer. Toronto, the center fielder. Joel. Here's the first pitch. Springer. Rosario has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. So one away in the now Toronto third. third and that brings up the big Vladimir. bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Junior. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. One out, nobody on. Zimmer's in pursuit. He gets there, and that's the second out. Base is empty two ten. away. Good and up stop. next to Berkeley Mark area it. native Marcus Simeon. Simeon. Looking up is Rosario. Adios. Pelota. Into the box, Rowdy Tellers. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. And recall he doubled his first time through, but was thrown out trying to stretch that into a triple. Now it's 2 0. 2 0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. 
fouled off. Three and one now as that misses down and in. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Full count now, three and two. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. Stepping in once again is Cesar Hernandez, grounded out in his last at bat. Cesar. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Guerrero is under it. He's got it one away. So next to bat will be Jose Ramirez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. Two gone. Next to stand in is Eddie Rosario. He bounced out last time up. And this will be fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Carlson finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. 0 for 1 Liga, for him here in this one. The left fielder. Teoscar. Outfield shaded Third a bit to left dead. center, the first pitch. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Striding no, in is Dylan Number Carlson. Three. Flew out Dylan. in his only at bat so far. Carlson. Jimenez into shallow left. He gets there, and that's the second out. Up next, Lourdes Gurriel. He's 0 for 1 after Morton. grounding out in his only trip to Gurriel. the plate so far. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And 2 and 0 oh now as this misses below the knees. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. 2 and 2 now. Hey, be on the lookout right here. Usually when a pitcher drops in a curveball for a strike looking, now he'll try and throw it in the dirt, get you to fish a little bit. I want to see where he goes here. Here's another 2 2. Here comes the right fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and striding forward the designated hitter, Fran Moreyes. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. And now, Bobby Bradley comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. 
First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. That's inside. 2 0. Oh. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. Simeon's got it. Throw on to first, two gone. Digging in next, Josh Naylor flew out last time up. Now here's the first offering. No runs, no hits, no errors to this point for the Indians. Big swing and a miss at the changeup, a ball and a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Springer, still ranging back. And goodbye, this one ain't coming back. Andres Jimenez is the next to bat. The shortstop. Andre swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. High chopper to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Randall Grichik at the plate now. Yeah, and he wasn't fooled at all by the changeup last night. Kept his hands back and absolutely destroyed that ball. So I got to think he's not going to see a changeup in this scenario right here. Scooped up. And there's one down now. Into the box. Reese McGuire over one after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. And it's fouled away. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. A one and two count to the Blue Jays signal caller. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two and two the count. Into the corner and slicing foul. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Now batting, center fielder. George Joel. Springer the next to hit as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. And this winds up inside for a ball. Two and oh now. Clearly working the bottom of the zone. Trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Here he comes on 2 0. Oh. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. 3 0 pitch. McGuire, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. He's got it. Hernandez at second. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Bradley Zimmer. The center fielder, number four. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. The windup and the 0 1. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0 and 2. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his wind up. I don't know if it's just flat stuff. But he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone and he's having a big game. The one two. Well two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. 
Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. In there, a base hit. So a productive start to the inning for the Tribe as their leadoff hitter is aboard. The catcher, number 55, Roberto In now, Roberto Perez. So he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the 0 1. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number 2. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Lifted in the air toward the line and right, and that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Now batting the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Now time is called, and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. to the plate now Cesar Hernandez he swings and lines it to left that's in there base hit and they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody now out out. The third base. Stepping in now, Jose Ramirez. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. In there, one and one. Well, the Indians have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. Now the one and one pitch. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal, you can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. And when in doubt, he'll just step off and bluff that runner back to third. High and deep to straightaway right. Looking up is the right fielder at the track, the wall. It's a grand slam. The left fielder, number eight, Eddie Wilson. Number 58 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 58. So now to the plate, Eddie Rosario. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. On the plate now is the designated hitter, Fran Moraes. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next AB. 
That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Four runs here in this half inning. Chopped toward the second baseman. Fielded cleanly, and there's out number two. Next to hit is Bobby Bradley. He started out the evening Bobby 0 for 2 so far. Bradley. From the stretch. And he misses low with it, 2 and 0. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay off. Drilled to the left side. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Stepping in for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Leading He's up, working on a Toronto. one for two game so Third far. Baseman. Nick Sandlin Ooh, yeah. enters to do the pitching You're in the bottom of the please. sixth. Now pitching for number 52, Nick Sandlin. Now here it comes. And that misses inside 1 and 0. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. That's wide 2 and 0. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Three and 0 now. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning. You've got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. And a good comeback there. It's 3 and 1. Now a ball hit pretty well to left but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. The three two pitch. And he'll step on first for the out three unassisted. Now it'll be Marcus Semien. He's one for two in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. They'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Four runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. The ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now the Toronto number four hitter Rowdy Tellez and he's been a bit of a diamond in the rough though he's only a bronze player he's got one of the better contact hitting attributes you'll see. On the move is Rosario. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor. Now here's the first offering. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. You know, because this is just a one run game. This doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. 
The so the next to bat will be Andres Jimenez. Andres. 0 for 2 Andres. with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. First offering. Fastball just inside. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Simeon ranges back and he has it for route number two. Stepping in next, Bradley Zimmer. He scored after knocking a single in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Late that time for a strike. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Over to first, and that retires the side. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seven inning stretch. to go for the last half of the inning and standing in the outfielder Oscar Hernandez and now the first pitch check swing here and they'll appeal it down to first but Carl Dixon's right on it he went around so that's strike one into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So now into the box is Dylan Carlson. 0 for 2. He's flown out twice. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Swung on and missed. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. A ball and two strikes. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. To two balls and two strikes now. And he fouls this one off. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Scooped up. And there are two away now. So back. stepping Number in 13. is Lourdes Gurriel. It's been an 0 for 2 Lourdes. effort for him to this point. Gurriel. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. In there, strike one. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two out, nobody on. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so. He can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. The batter, number 15, designated hitter, Randall. Richard. Here's 
Randall Gritchick as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. And this will get by him at third down the line. It's a fair ball. Number seven. At the plate now, Reese McGuire, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Fouled away. Big spot. Two out, possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So here is Roberto Perez. He'll start us off in the eighth. The catcher, number 55, Roberto Perez. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As he grounds one briskly to short. And this is going to find its way into left for a base hit and the leadoff man's aboard to start the eighth. Now, better. Now, time Second is base. called here as we'll get a trip Stay to the mound. Kirby Yates is called upon, and it's not for his usual now, role. Just hoping to keep the deficit at Number one here. Kirby! At the plate, Cesar Hernandez. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one. And a sliding effort there, but he can't get a glove on it, a base hit. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Now that's and now Jose Ramirez and on the first pitch he grounds foul he's got a hit in three at bats to this point and a check swing here as he couldn't help himself and it's ruled strike two Perez on second Hernandez on at first with nobody out hit hard on the ground towards second. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Long throw to the plate. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. The left field, number eight, Eddie Rosario. To the plate now, Eddie Rosario. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Both teams with eight hits in this one. And now I believe a balk has been called here, and that's going to move both of these runners up a base with still nobody out. And 
and it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first so the bases are loaded now here on the intentional walk hit. and the force Wrong play is now in order. He's set and the pitch as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one. When you're hitting in a situation like this you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something middle of the plate and drive some runs in. And likely nothing up at third, but he'll step off and look him back anyway. Tight spot. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Oh. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. They get the force at the plate. Relay to first is too late, so no double play, but no run scores. Next, it'll be Bobby Bradley. He grounded out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect Bobby this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Your attention, please. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Jake. Deep man. Jordan Luplo will get the nod from his skipper to pinch hit, and he'll do so in a big spot. Base is loaded, only one away. Here's the first pitch to him. The 1 0 home. Liner toward right center. One run scores. And they'll put the brakes on the runner at third, so the bases will remain loaded here with still only one okay. away. The right here. Harold Ramirez will come on now as the pinch hitter. Number 10, Harold Ramirez. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And with every base occupied, a big hit here could really put this one out of reach. The 0 1 pitch. And this is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. The shortstop, Andres. Ahmed Rosario he called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw on the second for the force, and the side is retired. Inning number eight set to go, and former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. Fielder. Emmanuel Classe goes on to pitch out of the bullpen Springer. in the bottom half of the eighth. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the number 48, Emmanuel Classe. First offering. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Back goes Rosario. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now at the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's set. Here it comes. 
Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. The 1-0 home. Check swing here, and they'll appeal it down to first, but Carl Dixon's right on it. He went around, so that's strike one. Two and one. Classe is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. Got him to go down swinging there. The batter, Vladimir 10. Guerrero Jr. Shortstop. goes down for out Mark number it. two in the bottom half. Jimmy, yeah. First offering on its way. Fouled off. And that one cut a little too much. A ball and a strike. Blue Jays shortstop with a one and two count. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. And that'll bring in the San Diego product, Bradley Zimmer. Off to the Indians, the center fielder, number four, Bradley Zimmer. Nate Your Pearson please. enters from the pen now to start the ninth the inning as he'll try to keep the score Number right 24. where it is heading to the bottom Nate. of the ninth. Pearson. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Left side but well foul. Hit on the ground out to short. Simeon's there. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. The catcher, number 55, Roberto Perez. Into the box, Roberto Perez. Popped him up. McGuire is there. One out. So the lineup flips over and Second digging base. in, Cesar Hernandez. Cesar. He Hernandez. steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. Pearson. Just 24 years of age. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. The 1 1 home. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that gets through for a one out base hit. The bat, the first baseman, they say. Stepping in now, Jose Ramirez. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Two hits in four attempts to this point. One oh pitch is a curveball. That looked good from here, but it's two and oh. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Now the two one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in the zone, or you just pitch around it? Hernandez is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Now to bat, Eddie the Rosario. Field, He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. On to first, and the driver held in check as the inning is over.
So now to the plate, Rowdy Tellez. He'll be the one to get Leading us going here in the, the bottom kick. of inning number nine. The first baseman, number 11. Now the first pitch. Oh, that's off the plate. The 1 0 home misses, ball two. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2 0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. The 2 1. And a big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. The 2 2. And it's fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Fouled away. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the 10th pitch of this at bat. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. Rosario brings it in, and that's out number one. So now here is Oscar Hernandez. They are From the stretch. Adios, Pelota. Up next to the blue play, the right fielder, James Karinchek, comes out of the bullpen to Charles shut things down uh, here in the ninth. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the number 99, James Karinchek. Into the box now, Dylan Carlson, as he'll take a look at ball one. He could really. Use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. One and one the count now. Now here's the pitch. Ramirez is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Next to bat for Toronto. Lourdes Gurriel. And Second he needs to make something happen. They're Florida. down to their final out here in the ninth. Gurriel. First offering. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. That evens it up one and one. Now the pitch and this is swung on and missed so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight and now before the one two time is called at home plate. Two run game last of the night with two away. Final strike for the Blue Jays. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Yeah, they showed a lot of grit to get the win here. They trailed by four.